This is my fire slash smoke alarm. Oh, look, there goes my camera finally focusing. This is my fire alarm and smoke detector collection. Let's go over it. So let's just start right here. Here we have a kitty nighthawk. I don't know why I have the base plate on it. This one came out of my RV. Let me just. Things kind of annoying to take off. It has a lock on it. Um, so, Nighthawk, Royal Electric Ion Smoke Detector Model Number P19000. And then, yeah, there's the battery case right there. If you look at that little lever, all the Nighthawks, they all have those battery cases. That. It's kind of annoying for this, too. So, yeah, it's the Nighthawk. Here we have my, it's, it's not a beach troll, I just gotta say, it's not a beach troll, look, open it up, it's not a beach troll, it's not a beach troll, it's a replica of a beach troll battle, um, here's its key, the switch, so you can it's on off switch, the LED on the circuits, see, it's conventional, so let me just go ahead and pull it, It's kind of hard to set the dumb thing with my hand. Let me just lock it, put it over here to the night. Okay, this is gonna be my background. It's actually my dad's room. Here. Watching Scooby Doo. So now we have a first alert smoke detector. There's the one we have. I have one of those, but it has the escape light. It's the escape light one, so. This one has its mounting plate on it too. That's the test button, the beeper, the light. I have another one, but it's a piece of crap, and I think I'm gonna give it to my friend, see if he can fix it. Here's the bag. Oopsies. It actually was. Model number, the model number is SA710. Just, um, wait. I don't, it doesn't say. Oh, it's photoelectric. It's photoelectric. Oh, and yeah, you just crashed the machine. Nope. Here we have this. Um, it's another kitty. I love kitty. That's why I have so many kitties. I, have a, I do have a first order item. I have no idea what it is, though. This is an older one. It's, uh, it was actually made in ni like between 1900 and 2005. But it was sold to my grandpa in April. Um, it was actually in my aunt's house because he moved in. Uh, Katie Francis Ionization Smoke Alarm Model Number 1235. I don't think I mentioned, but the, the Nighthawk is photoelectric and ion. It's... um. Just nothing. Oh wait. In the battery compartment on the that one. That first battery compartment. Took it out and it doesn't work anymore. This one. If y'all want it, I'll sell it on eBay. But if y'all do want it, then you're gonna have to like the video and comment. Dad, why is it you always come in here when I'm making a YouTube video? Are you, are you on pause? No. Why don't you hit pause? I you, can't. Don't, you don't have to listen to me. I can't. Go ahead. Now you can't edit that out. Let's start over. Mm -hmm. I think he always does that. Now we have my. Well, I want a commercial fire alarm for my Wheel Rock. Um, 7002T24. Here's the back. T series 7002 T24. 24 volts DC, 0.62. I think it's 63 amps. 0.82 candela, non AA strobe, vibratone, oldie, 1970s fire alarm. It's heavy, it weighs like 3 pounds. Now we have my rear lock MIZ. This is the older one. It sounds like a smoke detector. There's the wiring, the beeper stuff. Thread. 
Now I have uh, another smoke detector. It's tiny, I have to admit. It's really small. And another kitty, which is kind of surprising. It's a kitty I, photoelectric smoke alarm model number P940. Um, yeah. Sheep, I said beep, beep, I'm a sheep. <laughs> Come here, Jesse. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Okay. I feel so much better. <laughs> so, now we have a simplex 4904-2137. Um... I think this is I think this is a non smart sync remote strobe. I think it I think it might be smart sync. So it's a remote strobe. Simple. Simple complex. That's all for today.